Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind Lag. What? I, I'm so excited, I don't know how to say my name. The artist behind Log Creek Fine Art. So, a little back history on why I'm so excited about this. Two things recently happened that kind of woke me up to the need for something like this. A friend of mine was talking about how she can't visualize things, and I'm reading through the comments, and apparently, this is not an uncommon thing. As artists, if someone describes something to us, or if we see a painting, we can envision what that would look like on our wall. Not everyone can do that. That kind of weirded me out. I thought it was an everybody skill. No, not everybody's brain works the same. And so it really woke me up to, if I want to sell paintings to people, it's not that they, the people that don't envision things don't enjoy the artwork. I want to show them what that painting could look like on their wall. I think that this is really going to help with getting sales of our artwork. The second thing that happened is once I realized that, I tried doing it on my own in Photoshop. I was moderately successful. I don't know. How do we do successful? That may not be the right word here. I mean, it worked. It just didn't look great. I was able to find some free photos online where I could put my artwork onto it. And the problem that I ran into two main problems. One, you're limited on colors. Not every room design is going to work with every painting. And it was very hard for me on smaller paintings to find a room that showcased that painting without it being this little teeny tiny thing. There just wasn't a lot available. So I was, I felt very limited there. The other thing that I had a hard time with was it was hard to show what the actual size of the painting was. I was just guesstimating like, I don't know, it's a 16 by 20. I think it looked this big behind the couch. And then I'm like, wow, that looks really small. It doesn't look good. I just felt very, I thought this would be something very easy to do on my own in my own photo editing, photo editing apps. I can't talk. It wasn't as easy as I thought. And it didn't look, it looked okay. I mean, I put it on my website. You can see here, they're there. It's very obvious that I did a bad Photoshop job on these. So, and I don't think any of these paintings are the right size in relation to each other. I don't like the idea of misrepresenting art that I have for sale. I want it to be as accurate as possible so the buyer knows exactly what they're getting and I don't feel I was managing that on my own. So I was contacted while I was in the process of updating my website. I'd already done the, these two front images. I was contacted by Canvi wanting to see if I was willing to do a sponsored video for them. By the way, this is a sponsored video, which tells you how much I like their service. You guys know I don't do sponsored videos often, but oh my gosh, it was just good timing because it was something, a problem I was having, I wanted to solve. And so I went ahead and gave their app a try. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It sizes things and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. You can change colors of the room. I could change the color of the couch. I can change the color of the wall. I can change the color of a vase to make it look right with my art. It also maintains the right size of your art in relation to the other elements in that room. So it is a very accurate representation of what your painting would look like, which like I said, big deal. So we're going to go ahead and head over to my computer. It's actually right in front of me. It's a very short walk and like, six inches. But we're going to head over there and take a look at what exactly this app can do for you. And as you're watching this and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is cool. I'd really like to try it on my artwork. Good news. They have provided me with a code. It is in the video description that is going to give you two free months. That is a $30 value. Two free months to use this service and to play around with it and get images that you can use on your own website, that you can use on eBay, on Etsy, on Facebook, on Instagram, anywhere where you want to promote how awesome your painting would look on a wall in any given room. And you're about to see some amazing like just, okay, I'm done. Let's, let's go and show you because did I say amazing yet? I don't think I've said amazing enough in this video. I've definitely not. Okay, so heading over to the Canby website, you've got a ton of rooms to choose from. Now, one of the things I'm not really going to cover in this video, they do have where you can build a website off that platform and it is included in your fee. So if you needed a website, that is an option. They are coming with more themes in the future. So I'll probably make another video about that later on. But for today, we are going to be focusing on just what you can do with your artwork to fe feature it in a room like this. There are over 500 rooms, and every time I log on, there are even more rooms than there previously were. Like, a lot of these are brand new. So first, we're going to choose 
whatever room we like. Let's start with this one. That's a nice one. You know, you've got a lot of different things that you can adjust within this. So like here, I can change the color of the couch. I can change the color of the carpet. I can change the color of the wall or even the table and the bowl and the ball inside. You've got a lot of different options depending on the room you choose on what you can change in color to make it best work with your art. Now this sort of room I think would look better if I either had multiple paintings or one large one. So let's remove this older one. Let's add one of my bigger paintings. So this orangutan, she is a 24 by 30 inch. And the cool thing about this, when you upload it, you put in what the size is, so it keeps it in perspective with the rest of the room. You're not just putting something in there and having it too small, too big. Very, It, it can be hard sometimes to determine how big a painting needs to be. Now, in this case, this painting, even being bigger, kind of feels small in this room. So I don't think this is the right fit for this one. Let's try another room. This is a room that I used a lot on my own website. Oh, she looks so much better here. Now, one of the things that you can see, look at the reflections as I move her around. They made it so it looks like not only is there a shadow under the artwork itself, there are actually reflections. So if you're selling prints and you wanted to show what that print would look like framed, which is typically gonna be behind glass, there you go, that is there for you. Now, in this case, this is an original painting. I don't want reflections, so we're gonna take that out Let's show you what you can do with different frames. Oh, I like that one better. And you can change the size of your frame. So if I want it larger, and this only changes the size of the frame, not the actual artwork, but you can make an artwork take up way more wall space by in increasing that frame size. Maybe she doesn't need to be quite that big. There we go. So we're gonna put that there. Now you can also change more features here. So we can change the color of the wall. What if we wanted it a darker gray or maybe a little bit lighter? Let's go with that. Let's try changing the color of the couch. Look how easy this is. We're just going to drag this and it's automatically set so that the couch looks very natural. It's not like when I was trying to mess with this in Photoshop and you could tell I was doing a bad Photoshop job. This does everything for you. Look how good that looks. Can you see now why I'm so excited? We can even change in this one, the color on the pillow. So maybe I want it to be more green. That's a nice color. And then there'll be different, different features around the room. Like in this case, that little vase, I could change colors if I want. It looks like that's it for this one on things that we can change, but that looks great. Now I'm going to just download that and you've got different sizes that you can download it in. Now you may be wondering, how does it know what size your artwork is? You set that when you upload it. So let's go ahead and add a new painting of mine in here. So with this one, I believe this one is a 16 by 20. So I'm gonna change that to inches. We're gonna go, that one would be 16 wide by 20. So yeah, that looks right. We're going to then insert that. Now we can come back through in the settings and change even more. So if you notice off to the side here, we've got a whole lot of options. So if you were going to build a website on there, that's where you would change the name. You would worry about more than what I'm going to do here. So one of the things you do want to pay attention though, so we've got our dimensions. You can change that if you mess that up or I have a tendency to keep skipping that step and having to go back and add it later. But you also can choose your type. So depending on if you choose a painting or a print, this can affect how your shadows in the room are displayed. So let's say you went with a print, you're not gonna have as deep of a shadow because it would look more like a poster stuck on the wall. However, in my case, I stick, I make it look like everything's in a frame. So I want that shadow anyway. So that part's not a big deal for me, but just a cool little feature there. So let's go ahead and choose another room for that sun conure. For me, I like to try to find a room that looks like a home somebody might actually live in. The, cool, the couch off to the side, it's cool, but also not probably what most of my customers have in their home. So I like to find the more natural looking ones. This room might look nice with the Sun Conure. Let's remove that. We're going to add the Conure. Eh, he's a little bit small with that table size, so maybe this isn't the best room for him. Let's try another one. So you want to find one that really showcases the artwork without making the, you don't want to make the artwork look like it's huge when the artwork really isn't, but you also don't want to choose a room that makes the artwork look super, super tiny, which is kind of what happened in the last choice. Now, this room is one of my favorites. 
everything looks so it's just such a pretty room so this actually does look really nice here now here's another really cool thing well one let's crop this i don't need all of this extra space up here because i'm not filling that but look at how the plant goes in front of the painting actually looks like it's behind all of these elements that is not an easy thing to try to make happen when you're doing this in photoshop as i found out the hard way so here let's go ahead and change we'll give him a mat because this is was a colored pencil piece let's see what happens with different mat sizes nope too white black is probably going to be my best choice here yeah i think we'll go with black and we'll make that a lot thinner and then the, the frame, we're going to choose that. We can try some different frames on that just to give the customer an idea of what their painting could look like, depending on the frame they personally put in. I'm going to go with that one because that one looks really good with this table, but I do think it's a little bit big. So let's shrink that down. There we go. And we can move that around to where it best showcases that art. Now, this is a cool one because this is a colored pencil piece. It would be framed behind glass. So you can see that reflection. I don't know if you can really see that on the recording or the video, but look at the reflection of the room around it. It looks so realistic. And then, of course, we can change the wall color, which I am definitely going to do here. So it better goes with that bird. We're just going to warm that up Make it a little bit more of a green gray. Not that much. We'll just drag that slider around until we find a color that works well. I like that one. Okay. And then in this specific piece, we can, or the room, we can change the lampshade if we want to, but I really like how soft everything looks. So I'm going to save that exactly as it is so that when I put this available for sale on my website, people can see what this piece could look like in a frame in a room. So let's choose another room and another piece. We can do multiple paintings if we wanted to. Here's a great room. Now, I never had a hard time finding a room. There was always a room that would work for any individual painting. I didn't feel like there weren't enough, that's for sure. Let's see what it would look like if I added a few different pieces. Oh, those two don't look good together. Let's change that. That looks good by itself, though. Let's remove you. Just because of the color of that couch, that works really well. Maybe if we put a couple of teal pieces. What other teal paintings do I have in here? Maybe this horse. Both of these, that one would be, yeah, both of these actually would be behind glass. So I do want the reflection showing, whoops, on that. So I'm going to right click. Nope, we've got our reflection, so we're good. But even if we didn't want that couch that crazy teal, we can tone that down just a bit. That looks more more natural what a nice feel so as you can see you can put as many paintings as you want in any given room one of my bigger challenges because a lot of my work is smaller good news is there are some great rooms that really showcase smaller paintings nicely okay so this room works so well for around eight by tens this was my favorite let's find one of my smaller paintings so now even though this is a small painting, it still is featured in a way that you could see what it would look like on the wall without making it look super, super tiny. But it also isn't your, I'm not just stretching it out so it looks like this huge painting behind a couch either. Let's change the wall color there. Look at that. Okay, that painting, here's an example where the painting, this painting does not fit this room. So we would definitely need something larger. There we go. Now we've got something that fits much better. And of course, just like before, we can adjust the frame. We can try some different frames on. Wow, that frame looks terrible. Oh, even worse. But each painting, they all have different colored frames that are typically going to look better with them. Most of the frames for my work, I really like darker frames and they've got a few different options that are beautiful. And then just like before, we can make the frame larger or smaller if we want to. Now that I've shown you what it can do, let me show you how I'm personally utilizing this app. I'm so, so excited to have this subscription because have I said amazing lately? Probably. Say it again. It's amazing. 
So looking over at my website, when I designed this, these were two of the samples that I did in Photoshop. And because they're small, they don't look that bad, but I couldn't use them as big images, let's say for a sales page for that painting. If I used this, it was really obvious that I did a terrible, terrible Photoshop job of this. Plus, I'm pretty sure none of these sizes fit correctly. So let's go ahead and change these to some other ones that I've designed using Canvi. Oh, much better. Let's try this one now. And it's not as big of a, like I said, it's not as noticeable because these are tiny, but trust me, when they were enlarged, they looked so bad. Like there's no way I could have posted that on Instagram or anywhere where the, the paintings would be bigger because I did such a, it, it, it wasn't good. Much, much better. And then we have tons of other options that we can do with any of these rooms. I can mess around with it very quickly. It's a very fast thing to make these images to use to showcase your artwork. Now, the one thing that Canvi does not currently do, it does not handle round canvases. So that was one I did end up doing in Photoshop. It's not nearly as good as what theirs is, but that is a feature they're working on for the future. Right now, it is only your square or rectangle shapes that work well there with their framing system. Now don't forget, you can head over to the link in the video description that will take you to Canvi and give you two months free, that is a $30 value, of access to this service. Trust me, you are going to love it. It has made my life much, much easier and I love how it showcases my artwork. Uh, husband, what are you doing in my office? I'm using your Photoshop to show people how good Bat Shark will look on their wall. You made Bat Shark look awfully big. Well, I don't know how to use Photoshop. Yeah, that looks terrible. You should use Canvi instead. Okay, now he's the appropriate size. Think someone will buy him now? All right then, well, have fun. Oh wait, you got any more of that paint thinner? Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help. Well, YouTube probably still won't notify you when videos go live. So also click on the bell notification icon to be notified when I have new, con new content go up. I have new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.